The Tops, Camp Creek, Fixed Blade, And what's really unique about this knife is the S35VN stainless steel. You know, Topps usually does everything in their 1095. It is a Nesmic style blade designed by Leo, the owner of Topps. And I guess the way from what I understanding is, is that he designs a knife every year for himself to go hunting. And then if the design is nice enough and, you know, there's a, you know, group conclusion that it's a nice design, then they'll actually put it into production. Tex Creek is another one that's similar, you know, that's in this category where he designed it for the year to go hunting and then they ended up putting it into production. These are a relatively new knife. It's about a year old. You don't see a lot of videos uh, on this knife. I, I, I just think it's a hidden gem. The cost range is from $149 at Blade HQ to... I got mine at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I had a 10% coupon, so it was like $111 shipped. I mean, what a deal for what you're getting. The original Nesmic style with this tall blade, you know, if you look at the angle of the way the blade goes to that line of the knife with the fat belly and the way the tip goes up, it was designed by, the original was George Washington Sears. Is, they called it the Nesmuk. It's a great book if you want to read, you know, he's like one of the godfathers of camping and bushcraft like Kephart. There's actually a book called Woodcraft and Camping, if you want to read it. And the original design was from the 1800s, 1880s, I think. But a very useful blade shape. I mean, this isn't going to be a hard batoner and, you know, something you're going to go chopping with. This is an all-around camp knife. I mean, this is the knife you're going to put on your belt and you're going to go do the Appalachian Trail or the, you know, John Muir Trail, which hopefully if my health Holds up, I'm planning on doing with my daughter for her graduation. This is, you know, probably one of the knives I'll take along with the folder. The blade shape is good for everything. It's one of those things where it's a um, jack of all trades, you know, master of none. You know, thin blade stock, tall flat grind, thin at the edge. It's good for food prep, good for skinning if you're into that, hunting. Good for carving, you know, good for whittling, everything. You know, Tops does an awesome job with this, with their G10, the way they make it look. And to say, you know, I, once again, I don't want to keep saying it over and over, but I, I have XL to XL, X, double XL size hands right in the middle. And... I heard some people with some of the videos online talking about how skinny this handle is here. This is one of the most comfortable handles I've ever held. It, it, it just floats in your hand. It just feels perfect for me. Unbelievable ergonomics. You know, like typical tops quality, very well done. You know, no burrs where the tang meets the G10. Perfection. Does come with a nice Kydex sheath. I mean, Tops doesn't shortcut you on anything. You know, this is brand new, so the edge, the uh, retention is very tight. It's pretty tough to get out, but you know, that's going to loosen up. And it has this nice leather dangler. I mean, just an awesome... She, this is, you know, $45, $50 sheath if you're going to have it made on the aftermarket. This is one knife I'm not going to be having my wife, you know, make me anything. This is just a perfect sheath, in my opinion. You know, it's got the drainage hole at the bottom. You know, people pull their knives out of the water and have it drip in there, but I guess they do. Size comparison, here's your tops bob. 
and a SE6, and of course the paramilitary too. So I just wanted to give a little video time to this knife. I um, This is one of the knives in particular where I wanted to start making videos because I couldn't find any information on it. I saw the information from a blade show then Gideon's Tactical did a video on it and I was like, wow. And then I really couldn't find any more info. This is for what you're paying. You know, if this was a Bark River, it'd be 250 bucks. You know, obviously they overcharge. S35VN is a tough stainless steel. I mean, they designed that steel for a reason. You're not going to have to worry about, if you don't, you know, chop down any nails or anything, this edge is not going to chip out on you. It is going to hold a fantastic edge. And it's relatively easy to touch up. Not as easy as 1095, but, you know, you're getting a lot better edge retention. So the tops, Camp Creek, G10 scales, Kydex, Leather Dangler, and S35 VN.